Hi everybody, Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make these really quick and easy bat wraps, that's what I'm calling them. Inside each of these lovely cute little bats is a packet of Smarties. So these are going to be perfect for any parties that may be going on around Halloween. Perfect for Halloween night, for trick or treat, little gifts, but also just fun to have at the dinner table if you're having a Halloween meal. I think they're really, really sweet. Now, the bat wings I cut from my Cricut machine and I will share that one that I used on my blog. But I will show you how you can make it using a one inch punch or any, any kind of small size circle really you can do. But a punch will be easier because it's quicker. But um, yes, there's a little bit of punch art going on as well. But they're really, really sweet. And I put these together in no time at all. They were so fast to do. And they've got little googly eyes there as well. So let's just push all them up. So I've got 18, I think it is, all together. Okay, so to make one of these bat wraps, you want a piece of cardstock that is two and one eighth of an inch by three and three quarters. That's the size if you've got these Smarties. I brought these from the co-op and they were in a bag of 18 and that's how they come. So I think that's quite a standard Smarty box size. I've seen these, you know, around a lot. So I'm just gonna run a piece of red tape just along the bottom there. I'm not doing any scoring, I'm literally wrapping it around because it's just quick. You know, these are going to get devoured, thrown in the bin so quickly, you don't, you don't need to spend a lot of time on it. So I'm going to sit the Smarty there in the, in the middle and then I'm just going to bring up one side so it's roughly in the centre and then bring up the other side. Keep it quite tight and all lined up. Oh, there we go. And there it is. One wrap. Okay. And then I want that bit at the top because it's plain. That one's got the expiry date. And then we've got our bat wings. So I've got one to go either side like that. So what I'm going to do is just round, round, just curl those slightly. Okay. So they are going to go like this. Now, if you want to make the wings similar size to me, you will need two pieces because you'll need one for each side of three by two and one eighth ish. And what you want to do, because I use this as my kind of, actually that is the one I use, see I've even got them confused, that's the matching one. This is the one that I punched, <laughs> so you can see how similar they are, they're pretty, pretty good. Okay, so what I've done with the one inch punch, turn it upside down so you can see what you're doing. And I came up from the bottom left corner here and just kind of, you can see where I've got it positioned there, there's the corner of it, so just kind of off slightly there to the left punch that out, okay, so there's one. Then the next one, you wanna overlap slightly because you wanna have this as a point. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop it back in again. About there, make sure it's overlapping. Okay, so you can see now we've got this effect here, we've just created here. And then this one, you wanna pop it in and you want it to go hit the edge, hit the end as well. You may need to, no. Okay, and then the last one you pop in, do the same. Don't worry about the end, overlap this part again so you get a nice point. I'm gonna come up a little bit higher. Okay, like so. And then the rest you're gonna cut by hand. So what I would do is have this as your template and then draw around this, because all you can do is you can have them all facing that way and then you just flip whatever one you need for the, the left or the right, depending on which one you've done first. So then I'm gonna come right up from this bit here, not the outer side, this inside part here, and just create a wing like so, and then just come in like that. And there you have a bat wing. So there's the one that I cut on my Cricut and there's the one I done by hand. So that one I've gone down a little bit. If you wanted to go more straighter, then you could just come up like that. Okay. Both look the same. If I put that one behind there, there's the one that I hand cut. I think it looks brilliant. If you want to distress it, you can put some, you know, veins in there and things like that, then go for it. You may only just be making a few for, like I said, a table favour or something so because I've done quite a few of these I just thought I'm going to do this on my Cricut so once I've got my two pieces there matching I'm just going to grab my glue and just pop a little bit there it's up to you where you position it I've had it so that the point here is just above the top slightly and that one there's sticking out 
from the bottom. Again, this one here. I just stick it on there and then kind of hold it up and you can move it around so they're in the right place. There we go. And then I got a bag of these googly eyes. Um, you can pick these up in any craft shop where there's children's stuff. The range have them. I think the pound shop even have them. The works online. Just yeah, just type that in and you will find them. I've just popped a little bit of glue on the back. And there you have it. A cute little bat wrap. What should we call him? I think he needs a little name. Barry the Bat? That's quite fun. So yeah, really quick. I think that's a really, really fast tutorial as well. If I took out all my talking and just went straight into it, I think this could be a um, yeah one of the fastest I've done. So there you have it. You could do this as a bird. You could have this, you know, as any other flying object, creature, whatever it is you're going to do. I think it's really fun. You could have some, I know, alien kind of looking creature. So yeah, have fun with it. If you've enjoyed it, I'll be back again tomorrow with another tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you.